need to get a, <laughs> I need to get a car phone stand. Hey guys. So I am currently in my car. I'm actually in the parking lot because I am about to get some brand new glasses. I'm going to be able to see. So if you watched my new year's resolutions goal video, you'll know that one of my goals for 2021 was to be a better adult. And that can mean a couple different things. And it means a couple different things for me. One of the top things that it meant for me though, was to really get on top of my my health and my doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, and eye appointments. I think the last time I got my eyes checked was 2014. I was 18 years old. And uh, even back then, they were not 2020 vision. And they certainly haven't improved since then because I have not been wearing my glasses. I don't even actually know where my original glasses are. So, I figured now is as good a time as any to get on top of that before I really do some damage to my vision. And you really shouldn't, you know, wait until it's too late and you do some irreparable damage to your eyes because they're pretty important. You should take care of them just like you should take care of every aspect of your body. And that's what I'm trying to get better about this year. A couple of weeks ago, I did have my eye appointment. I went in and did the whole scan where they make you look at the chart and I was actually kind of surprised. Um, my vision was worse than I was expecting. So apparently what the eye doctor told me is that my left eye has been doing a lot of my visual work for me. My right eye is not terrible. You know, Ian has to wear glasses 24 seven and his vision is certainly still worse than mine is. But um, this eye definitely sees a lot worse than this eye does. Uh, the eye doctor said that I'll probably only need glasses for reading things that are far away or for driving at night, especially if it's in an area I'm not familiar with. But I also figured that wearing my glasses regularly will get me in the habit of doing it, will certainly help my vision. It's not going to... Bright orange will help my vision. It's certainly not going to make my vision worse if I am keeping my glasses on more than suggested. And ultimately, I kind of just want to make sure I don't put more strain than necessary on my left eye since it's doing most of my visual work. And I was completely unaware of that. I did add a couple extra things when ordering my glasses, such as glare resistance, as well as uh, blue light resistance. So when I'm looking at my computer screen or my phone screen, these glasses are going to help with the strain that typically comes from looking at screens for a long period of time. So I'm really excited about that. I did also during my appointment talk with my eye doctor about trying out contacts, especially because I took up skiing this year, which is a uh, goggle necessary sport. I figured I would give contacts a try um, just for when I'm doing a sport like that or I'm doing something where I might lose or break my glasses. You know, um, they weren't exactly cheap, which is also why I put this you know, very necessary task off for so long and haven't been keeping up with my eye appointments. Since I've never worn contacts before, my eye doctor did give me some disposable pairs. He gave me 10 sets of disposable contacts just so I could practice putting them in and taking them out again. And if they rip or I lose one, it's not as big a deal than if I got uh, the reusable, more expensive pair of contacts. And if I decide that I really like the contacts and I'd like to stick with those, then I have the option to buy the reusable pair as well, which is what Ian uses. All in all, the uh, 10 reusable contacts contacts, my glasses, the frames, as well as the prescription lenses, and the few extra things I added, such as glare control and blue light control, as well as the checkup, came out to just over $200. Um, I did have insurance that helped me with that a bit, but that's roughly what it cost for me, and I really went all out because I haven't had this done in a while, and I really wanted to do it right if I was going to wear these glasses every day, or at least for the majority of my time, then I wanted them to be something I really liked and something that would be versatile and useful to me. I definitely remember certain things coming up that made me think I really needed to get my eyes checked. Things such as Ian asking me to read something from across the room and being completely unable to do so, whether it be a clock or a poster or whatever it was. Um, also comments from people when I am reading something and I'm holding the text really close to my face. These are just signs that you might need your eyes to get checked if you find you're getting headaches a lot, if things are blurry, if you're having trouble uh, driving at night, things are kind of hard to make out and you can't see a lot of the details, which was something I struggled with and made me think that I needed to get on this appointment, get my eyes checked and figure out what I'm doing. So I think someone's staring at me while I'm recording in my car. I'm just going to not look at them and hope they go away. Yeah, they're going away. Okay.
<laughs> so I'm going to be getting my new glasses today. I ordered them during my appointment a few weeks ago and they're finally in. So we're going to be picking them up and I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, I have my new glasses. Um, <laughs> call me basic, but I got them in the rose gold color and I am so freaking excited. So here they are. Ah, she can see, oh my gosh. The difference is actually really noticeable. I am looking across the street right now at trees and just the difference I can see the texture of the leaves and the branches, whereas before I knew I was looking at a tree and I could probably even tell you how many trees there were, but there was no detail to them, which can be uh, an issue with certain things, especially when it comes to driving. I am really excited. I think these are the exact aesthetic I was looking for, so I'm really happy with how they look. Now I can keep up with my eye health and hopefully I won't be putting as much of a strain on my left eye anymore. <laughs> you can see it the blue light glare i'm gonna look funny on zoom calls that's okay because the eyes will be protected and that's what we want when i got my glasses they did also give me some cleaning stuff for the lenses as well as a little cloth that i can use and a case i got a pair of glasses by laura ashley that's who did the frames here with the rose gold honestly i am so in love with the style of these glasses i think they're really cute i think they're minimalistic but they're also stylish and fashionable so i just wanted to mention those as well because how cute like i'm gonna be so excited to carry these around in this that is so adorable Use this as a sign, go on Pinterest, look up some glasses aesthetic, whatever style you want. That's exactly what I did. I can show you exactly which pictures I brought up, which were a style I thought would be really cute on me, which I thought would go with my style that I already have. And that's what I looked for at the eye doctors. And these are what I came out with. So take this as a sign to go get your eyes checked if you haven't in a while. If they say you need glasses, you can make them work no matter what your style is or just go for contacts. But it's really good to stay up and keep your body in check. Make sure it's healthy. Make sure you're keeping yourself healthy and taking care of all the parts of your body, mind, physical, spiritual, all of it. Thanks so much for watching this vlog, guys, and coming along with me to get some brand new glasses. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it helps one of you maybe remember that you haven't gotten your eyes checked in a while and what you can expect, what you can look for. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you hit that little bell button, you will be notified whenever I have a new upload so you won't miss it. If you enjoyed this vlog and want to see more from me, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And in the comments, tell me if you wear glasses. Do you wear contacts? When's the last time you got your eyes checked? Trust, it was a long time for me too. Seven years, that is too long to go with not getting your eyes checked. Especially when you know it's an issue. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!